in the village of Nimkapa in Bhagan, and we're here with Fortu. Uh, this is his family enterprise, and they've been here for more than four generations, and over a hundred years. Uh, they produce lacquerware, uh, which is a specialty from the region, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how that's done. <laughs> So there's, there's two components, either there's a woven bamboo basket which takes uh, um, a number of days to produce or these soft woven bamboo which is done by women and that takes about a week. They line it with circles of coarse hair which is really labour intensive work. Well, the boxes they make out of teak, which is a hardwood tree that grows in the area, uh, and it's a very, very durable product, and they use that for larger things. Okay. So the lacquer is tapped from trees which grow around Inlay Lake, which is further north from where we are. Uh, it's a natural resin and they use that in various stages of the production process. Okay, so they take the resin and they coat the inside and outside, and each layer takes two whole weeks to dry. Because the outside is not smooth, they take this uh, tool and they, they scrape it smooth. So after, after they've smoothed it, they do another lacquer layer and then they use ash uh, and mixed with the lacquer, they smear it over the surface, smooth that and leave that to dry. That takes three. Okay, so the next stage they use they mix the lacquer with uh, sawdust and they use that to bind cotton cloth around the outside, which is structurally strong. And that takes three weeks to dry. So they add another layer of that and then once that's done they use pumice to smooth it over. So um, after that they put on a fresh layer of just pure lacquer, but that's so shiny um, it's, it's, it's too much. So they take a pulverized uh, petrified wood and they use it to buff it a bit to give it less sheen. Um, and then the men do the, the macro work, the large detail. Because they're lazy, they don't do any more than that. The women take over, being the really skilled ones, and they do all the fine detail. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, the next stage is to apply the pigment, which you'll see in the finished product. Um, it's sourced either from, from mountains uh, and even from the sea. The green color is from a, a rock um, taken from the, 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 the coast, and the red from the mountains, and the uh, yellow from cliffs in the area. Um, once the, the lacquer work has been engraved, they apply each layer um, in sequence. So it has to be done one color at a time, so they build up layers. <laughs> Once the, once the final effect is achieved, uh, the, the whole product is finally polished. Um, as you can see, each stage takes a number of weeks, and really good quality lacquer work can have dozens of layers and takes six to nine months to produce. And that accounts for the reasonably high costs of the product. So uh, it's not really fair to, to, to argue these things. You know, people want low prices on these sorts of products. Uh, but actually, a huge amount of time and effort goes into making them, at least at a high level. Here's a thing like that. So each of the various drawing stages was actually carried out down here. Whereas you'd expect it to be on a warm, dry shelf, uh, the drawings carried out in the cellar, which is really humid. Um, he was saying, joking, that in Europe we use this for wine, but here in Myanmar it's used for lacquer work. And at night they close the door and the, it really raises the humidity down here. The reason they want that to happen is that it dries more slowly. Slow drying is good because it means the lacquer doesn't crack. And so the final product is perfect.